Yep, it's me, Elric Farish, your host here once again on the Motherboards.org YouTube channel, and it's sad. Didn't even want to get out of bed this morning. It's like really bummed out. It's like just, you know, you guys all know AMD's new bulldozer came out, it's 8-core processor, and this the sad thing, all the rumors are true. Like, it really does completely and totally blow away Intel. <gasps> in packaging. I mean, have you seen the packaging on this new AMD CPU? I mean, it's red, black, it's metal, it's five inches, you know, Intel is only four and a half, bigger box, metal packaging? I mean, come on. Come on, Intel, what were you guys thinking? Cardboard versus metal, aluminum? Come on. AMD clearly is kicking Intel's ass across the board when it comes to their packaging. Jokes aside, you guys have been asking for it, and so I finally got it in. I ordered the thing off of Newegg and finally got it. So I paid $219 plus tax, which is $240. This is pretty much the exact same price across the board as Intel's i5-2500K, okay? So we got this thing. We're gonna do the unboxing today. What is this thing? Well, you guys all know it. It's got eight cores. That's the big flash about it. It also has eight megabytes of level two and level three cache. It comes clocked at 3.1 gigahertz with Turbo Boost, I mean, Turbo Core at 4.0. Kind of similar to Intel's technology, not exactly. But this thing, the big thing is it takes 125 watts of power to run. This is like a lot of electricity to keep this thing. And that also means it's going to generate heat. Now, you guys have sent me some really crazy things out there. Tell me that it competes totally with the, with the Intel CPU, that all you have to do is stop clocking for the cores and overclock it. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't go out and buy an eight core CPU just to disable four of the cores. That's crazy. But anyways, today we're just going to do the unboxing. We'll show you what comes in this cool little new box. You guys know the packaging is better than Intel. So we're going to show you that. Then as we get the results in, we'll give you a compared head-to-head, -head, dollar for dollar, against the Intel CPU. That's only the fair way to do it. Since the i5-2500K is the exact same hundred price, that's what I'm going to test it with, and we're going to keep it locked into those things. That said, let's jump in and check out what comes in this new AMD FX8120 8-core CPU. Okay, so check it out, guys. This is the box I talked about earlier. I really do have to give AMD credit. I mean, hey, regardless of what came out about this, you know, the bulldozer rumors, everything else, the boxing is cool. I mean, look at this. Solid 10 package all the way around. AMD FX 8-core processor, black edition. Got the little AMD logo here. I'm going to flip it around, let you guys see in the side here. Got a little seal up here on the top. I'll be cutting with my little trusty knife. Yes, sir, I will be. Show you guys the back. Has all the little stuff on here about AMD. Not really much there you can really see. 32 nanometer process on this. Eight cores. Eight megabytes of level two and level three cache. The big thing is, though, is that this thing is going to suck a whopping 125 watts of power. That is like heavy duty. Will it run super duper hot? I guess we'll have to find that out when we test it. So let's go ahead and set this down. I'm gonna just go ahead and make one little slight insertion here on the side. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the top off. Pa-boom! Right off the bat, we've got the advanced micro devices thing right here. And there's a little warning right here. Now what this is telling you basically is that this is telling that you might have to flash your BIOS, flash your BIOS, excuse me there. Because if you have an older board, you might have to flash it so that we'll recognize all the new FX CPUs. Shouldn't be a problem though. Get that out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull the CPU out. I'm gonna try to get this into a shot where you guys can see it. So get that around over here. Here's the CPU. One difference though, still between AMD and Intel with their LGA packaging is that AMD still uses pens. I'll show you that in a second. You also get the FX AMD logo here. Go ahead and just remove the CPU. Now, this is something that I really wish AMD would change, though I'm not really too fond of the pins because they can get bent. So you guys can see, here are all the pins. If you looked at an Intel CPU, there'd be no pins. All the pins are actually mounted on the motherboard for them. Here's the CPU itself. Here's a nice close-up of it. I'm going to go ahead and just move that out of the way. And then last but not least in the box over here, we have the heat sink and fan assembly. Go ahead and pop this out for you guys. See, it has a full copper base on it. It has a full copper base. Fins here, all made of aluminum. And then once again, 
copper heat fins. These are all liquid cooled and help keep the CPU running really cool. It also has in the bottom of it, you can see, has a thermal grease already pre-installed. So if you're just going to install this in a single system, you'll be just fine. I know that many overclockers and people out there are probably not even going to use this whatsoever because they're going to use an aftermarket one. But for those people out there who don't use it, this will be the one that you'll be using. Easily connects onto a motherboard, mounts on, simple stuff. So this is it. This is the new FX8120. You can see you get the CPU, heatsink and fan, a little nomenclature, and the cool, really cool packaging in the new box. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll be bringing you guys the full review of this in the next coming days as we test it head-to-head -head against the i5-2500K, similarly priced from the folks over at Intel. Thanks for watching.